um, realise that moving around and travelling was a great way of getting ideas to gain a lot of experience. So I think 2000, a group of about 10, 15 of his close friends, uh, uh, people he worked with, i.e. close friends who were also people who worked with, which is sort of not the same always, um, decided to call this, bring this, this idea into reality. I had a meeting in advance. Can I may add that um, in the very first years after Dieter's death, which uh, occurred in 98, um, in the period before the retrospective was um, put together, uh, there arose a question what to do with that sculpture installation uh, which uh, Dieter had used in his last few bigger exhibitions in Marseille and in Vienna and also in Holderbank. Uh, an installation which uh, contained his writing desk and where he had his uh, slippers and where he would throughout the whole exhibition come himself and sit by his desk and work as if he was in a studio. And um, of course with him not being alive anymore, this installation so to say, was defunct. And we were looking for some sort of uh, uh, legitimate uh, um, replacement in a way. I mean, we thought the own exhibition, the art equals life thing, is really culminating there. Uh, we found it a dreadful idea that this would have to be skipped and that this wouldn't be possible anymore. But there came this that we would form a group of people who would sort of have an office in, in the retrospective exhibition. This did not take place. It was uh, um, politically not quite accepted, but uh, the idea was born that we would sort of have an ongoing office or something, a, a, a congregation of people which would um, um, sort of uh, be ready to, uh, to sort of continue in, in a, along lines which uh, Dieter had set out. I mean, I think there's another aspect that, uh, which I've forgotten that this in a way touches on strongly that Dieter, throughout many decades, um, very much enjoyed working with other artists, collaborations with people like Richard Hamilton and Arnold Reiner, um, quite a few others. And um, particularly in, in his later years, in some of his very big exhibitions in, in Marseille, for instance, and, and Vienna, he did something that nobody else had ever would have thought of doing, was inviting his friends to actually exhibit in his exhibition. Uh, you know, something like catalogs and so Dieter Wolf, Bjorn, Bjorn. Obviously, his main collaborator was his, his son Bjorn. Um, and and then five six other names and this idea was that he intended to continue but unfortunately he died but there was a sort of a momentum momentum that uh, people who formed the academy I think had already sort of like taken up and that was part of the, the drive that started. Okay, then. Uh, or think of the cold, sparkly night when the star maintains its vigil bright. Or think of the man, his wife and tot, who've long since departed from this spot. Think of the trees that have been felled, the birds in gardens singing like bells. Think of all the great decorated halls and the hundreds of guests laughing at halls when the winter comes and howls. It was a summer day long ago when we set off together for the deep blue sea. A stately engine hummed warmly to us. Bombones and bottles were exchanged with no fuss. And not for one moment did our thoughts stray to that lonely, deserted, solitary star 
whose distant light already sped on its own. HTML, HTML, lang equals, um, it equals, Facebook, class equals, Node.js, head mode in charge set equals, UDF8, script function E, and flush A, function B, C, for var D, and E, C, D, and equals E, D, if, window dot require lang C, require lang C, and V, else, and equals, window dot E, and bar var, B, and, ENV flush, user, 11868450444 inches, locale, on GP, method, GET, SVN reverend, colon 641675.
walls, the city with everything, the energetic beat of the pulse, vibrant, young. At the same time, however, the past very much alive, old, atmospheric, generous. Oh!